again. All right, so in today's video, I wanted to go through some new yarns that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I've actually had these sitting in the corner of my craft corner for quite some time. If I look at the receipt, I bought this on... Where's the date on this? Is it this? Oh, June 18th. So it's about two months ago that I purchased these yarns. Uh, and I had bought them during Hobby Lobby's big annual yarn sale, which I didn't find out about until this year. And I went to the store after about a week of watching different YouTubers, crocheting YouTubers that I like to follow. And they were all mentioning yarn that's on sale at Hobby Lobby. So I made a run to my local store and they were right. Um, unfortunately, since I found out about a week after the sale was already going on, there was a lot of stuff that, stuff that wasn't in stock anymore. So I kind of grabbed what I could find that I liked. So I'm just going to share with you what I got. I don't know what projects I'm doing with these, um, but we'll find something. So first one I have is Yarn B, Lush Loft. So the Lush Loft is this fuzzy yarn can you see that you see the little fuzzies on there it feels really soft and this is in the colorway mustard there we go uh, let's see you see that so usually these are 549 per skein and i got it for 137 and i picked up two in the colorway mustard I have three of them in blush, and then I have two of them in sand. So what I thought I'd probably do is use these to make some amigurumi, and if you watched my last video, I showed you two pattern books that I got for little amigurumi fantasy characters, so I'm probably going to make one of these um, with this yarn for my daughter or something to put on my shelf. So that's one type of yarn. Let me get these out of the way. I don't have much real estate space to work with on my desk. All right, next up we have, let's see. I'm gonna try to somewhat organize it so I can get all of the same type out, let you know how much I got. So the second type I got, oh, and that last one, let's see. For the uh, Lush Loft, it is a medium weight yarn. So it's worsted and it comes with 142 yards. This next one is another Yarn B yarn and it's Studio 72. It comes with 145 yards. It's a medium weight worsted yarn and it is 50% acetate, 50% acrylic. The other one I believe is 100% acrylic. This one is also very soft. It's, it's like, it's got not so much of a sheen, but I don't know if you can really tell there. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. Very, very slight. And the threading is very, distinct I guess you can say like you can see the different strands braided I know that some yarns look kind of fuzzy or pilly this one doesn't seem like it'll pill much I'm hoping it doesn't I don't know if I really have enough to make a cardigan maybe a crop uh, sweater or something of that nature it seems like it'd be pretty warm and it is really soft so it's gonna feel nice against the skin and this is in the colorway uh, current 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 C-U-R-R-A-N-T. It's a really nice burgundy color. And I got five skeins of these. They were originally $5.99 and I paid $1.49 for each one. I have to find out when exactly these sales start, if they're the same every year, because <laughs> I'm gonna plan for next year. All right, next up 
we have let's make sure that's all i have of this one i believe so i think they're all yarn b brands which is a hobby lobby brand so this is a yarn b it's uh tweed indeed and it is in the colorway golden tweed they're originally $5.99 and I got it for $1.49. It comes with 180 yards and it's a medium weight worsted yarn. 40%, 46% acetate, 46% cotton, 6% viscose, and 2% polyester. It's a very inclusive yarn. <laughs> but this one is really nice. It is, it does definitely have a little bit of shine to it. And it's got little speckles in there of like a blackish grayish color and some orange flecks too. So this would be really nice to work up for fall color. I tried to stick with fall colors um, to make some garments. Hopefully if I can get to them for this fall. This one I got five skeins. So for the most part, the ones that I decided to get, I cleared out the shelf and I bought whatever they had of those, which as you can see, wasn't much. Uh, let's see, is this my last type that I got? I'm not sure. One sec, emptying my bag here. Mm, yeah, looks like this is the last one I got of this type of yarn. Let's see, I got this one and this one, and yeah, looks like that's all I got. All right. And the last type of yarn is Yarn B, Feeling Chunky. And it is a 100% cotton yarn, which is really nice. It's nice and breathable. You don't get so sweaty in it. Um, so this would be really good for early fall. And even, you know, in winter too, but even early spring when it's still a little chilly out because it is a thick yarn. But the cotton will keep it nice and breathable and it is also very soft. So these are originally $4.99 and I got them each for $1.24. And it comes with 75 yards, which is less than the others, but that's because it's a really thick yarn. And it's a five bulky. So, let's see. Can you see? Can you see the yarn? Come on, focus, focus. There you go. So you can see it's really, it's got a nice braided look to it. Not braided, but you know, like you can see each strand, which will give projects a really nice texture. It's really soft. I have, I think, used this type of yarn, but in their, um, I don't know if it was worsted or a three weight yarn. But I like how it works up. It definitely gives it a nice texture. So I got it in one, two, three, four, five colorways. So in this colorway, it's curry. I think I only in the curry one, I only got three skeins. So that's all they had. So I'll have to find something that I can make with three skeins. And then with these other, was it the four? I can't remember I did see a pattern for a blankets and I can't remember if it included four colors or three so I'll have to go back to that pattern and see what I was going to use but the rest of the bag is full with a bunch of these four colors so this one is in the color with spice very fall color pumpkin spice anyone I'm ready for that then I have Dove, which is a very uh, nice light gray color, silvery looking. I have Dark Denim, which is what it is, a dark denim navy blue color. Oh, this one you can actually see the sheen on it. Let's see. Yeah, see this one you can see kind of. Ugh. There we go. You can kind of see how the light is reflecting on it. And that's how all of these look for this type of yarn. It's got a nice sheen to it. And my last colorway is ivory, which is what it is, ivory. That's it. That was my yarn haul. Um, so I bought a lot of skeins. 
and it only worked out to $49.13, which is a steal for yarn. I definitely wouldn't have gotten this much if they were full price. Or even, I know Hobby Lobby every other week does 30% off their yarn. I wouldn't have even cut it to get it to this price. So, that was sometime in June. I'm going to add that to my calendar to make sure I buy yarn in June. At least in bulk. I'm going to buy yarn all year. But you know what I mean. Getting it on sale. So that's it. That was me sharing with you what I bought during this yarn haul. Hopefully once I get working on the projects, or find projects, I'll let you know what I'm going to plan to do with all of this. And all of that stuff. I don't know, did I, I don't think I ever showed you a hat that I completed. I think I told you I was working on a hat. I'll show you again anyway. Wow. Ha ha. Check this out. Let's see. I'm all squatting over here. So this was my bucket hat that I made using the Lion Brand Lazy Days. I think I did mention it in the other video. I don't know if I ever showed you the completed piece though. Look how cute it is. It worked up so nicely. It's just granny squares and you're working around and you stitch them together and then you make the brim, you do your increases. And what I used for the first time in a hat was I put millinery wire. Yes, I did talk about this. I didn't show you the final piece. I put millinery wire in the brim to give it extra structure because I've made other hats that are floppy. But this one, I wanted it to have a rounded structure. So you put the wire in there. It's a clear wire and you kind of just back stitch or crab stitch over the edge to cover it up and voila you have a hat with some structure to it to keep it nice and round looking and protect you from the sun <laughs> so this one was is that 100 percent cotton i know it was partly cotton so it is breathable and especially with the granny squares you get some airflow in there I have worn it on one warmer day that we had here, and it wasn't that hot. I mean, my head wasn't that hot, even though it was hot outside. But I wanted to stick with colors that could kind of go for fall as well. And I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> I've had picked up these three for a blanket. And then it looks pretty similar to the colors I have on here. I'm liking that color combo. It might be my fall look this year. Yeah, so I think this would be really cute with fall outfits or even right now what I'm wearing. I just have a plain black shirt, some light mom jeans. It looks really good. I think I'm going to add this to my outfits today. <laughs> anyway, that's really all I have. Quick video today. Just wanted to share my yarn. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for liking. Thanks for clicking that bell icon. My plan even though I haven't been very consistent, is to try to upload every Wednesday. That's my plan. My goal. We'll see. I know I posted one last week, and hopefully this one that I'm doing now is going up on a Wednesday. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys next time.